こんにちは。はじめまして。Hello from Naka City. My name is Kimberly Gordon, and although I am originally from Canada, I am currently living and working as an ESL instructor here in Japan. I am, however, submitting this video in the hopes of obtaining a position within the work and study program offered by the Siam Technology College. I found a post on Dave's ESL Cafe which led me to the college's website, and I believe it would be a great opportunity for me to be able to explore such a beautiful country while working towards a BA in TESOL so that I may become a more effective teacher as well. By strange coincidence, I was actually in Thailand almost exactly a year ago. Last April, my mother and I spent a week in Phuket. It was amazing, and I would love to be given the chance to return both as a student and a teacher. Not only that, but it would also appeal to my sincere love of being immersed in new cultures, learning about its people, their customs and traditions, while I continue to expand my own horizons. Like Japan and China before, I find that when I live in another country, I not only learn about the culture, but about myself as well. Studying at Siam Tech would allow me to increase my knowledge even as cultural doors are being opened to broaden my perspective of the world around me. With six years of teaching experience, I have taught a variety of ages, from young toddlers to retired adults. Though I do thoroughly enjoy teaching the adults, I think my own personal teaching style, which often strives for creativity, is generally more geared for the elementary and middle school age students. My charisma and enthusiasm are qualities I believe to be important for demonstrating to children that learning English can be fun. In regards to my personal expectations for teaching in Thailand, I know that every student is unique, each with their own aptitudes for English. This means students may learn at various paces, and that's okay. Patience and understanding are key qualities for any teacher. I also know that outside factors can affect the classroom. It happens, you adapt, sometimes you improvise, and you carry on with English class. I expect there will be challenges and unforeseen obstacles that may arise, but at 28 years of age, I am confident that I can take them in stride and overcome these difficulties knowing that every challenge refines and redefines character and builds upon one's life experience. I fear not the challenge. I look forward to it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope to hear from you soon. Kapkun Kap.